Good morning. It is Tuesday and I just came out to do a quick garden update because I haven't done one in a few weeks. So let's start over here with my um, scallions. They are coming to, um, some of them have bolted and are flower coming to flowers and there'll be seeds, which is fine because that way I can harvest my own seeds for my scallions. There's some chives in there as well. Um, as you can see, the strawberries need to be thinned out. I need to do some pruning this weekend, so I'll get to that later. But I'm going to get rid of all of the brown leaves and leave all of the fresh green leaves so that they can produce some more flowers and get healthy again. We have another bucket here of strawberries. We have our first flower. And in the middle are green beans. I was looking for companion plants for green beans and low I mean for strawberries since I had this big huge empty space in the middle and lo and behold I read that you could plant green beans so that's what I planted in the middle all right down here doing beautifully is our squash and zucchini and this bag last year held three plants so I pushed the limit and y'all know I put a fourth in here. So this is actually spaghetti squash right here. This plant here is a spaghetti squash. And then I have my nasturtiums in here because they attract the aphids. Everyone's favorite, not so favorite word. Um, and you know, the crazy thing, I must have dropped some extra seeds in here because last week I did see another one coming up over here and didn't remember putting this one in. This is actually, where is it? It's under here. There were some fresh baby leaves. There they are. Hold on. I know this is all crazy for y'all, but this one, that's a new new leaf. So I'm like, where in the world? Well, there's another new one right there. <laughs> that's another one. And I saw another baby one. And I know they're not attached to these plants. This is another baby one right here, a new one. They're not attached to the plant, so somehow, I don't know. I must have dropped some seeds in here. I don't know. But either way, squash and zucchini are doing wonderful. And I did, I showed you guys the nasturtium flowers. Um, I know it's too hot for broccoli, but I wanted to just see what it would do if I planted it down here and put it into some shade. This is peas and green beans. You can see something has been eating at my leaves. So I treated them before the sun came out with um, a mixture of water rosemary, peppermint oil, and a little dish detergent. This here is my black egg plant. You can see some flowers starting to form. Here we have melons and okra. Things are starting to look really good out here. And I do have flowers planted in because um, I planted flowers that would attract the bugs away from the actual fruits itself because I don't want to kill it. And then you can see the vine, the um, black diamond, I think this is that the vine, this is a vining one. So I'm going to get another trellis and put it here so it can climb. And I'm going to get two more um, silver trellises. I saw like, they look like ladders. So I will get that kind. Parsley, curly and flat are doing well. Have some carrots coming up. And I don't know where, this must be something that a bird dropped in here because I didn't plant anything that looked like this in here. So I don't know what that is. The little lemon, that thing is taking off. Something's been biting her leaves too. Look at that. I don't even really care if they bite the leaves on the lemon, the lemon plant. That's just an experiment. All right, let's go. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I skipped the box. So let me move the plants out the way so that you can see. Okay, the marigold. This is from Seed. Look at that, how big it is. And the deal is, this rain that, that happened, oh my God, it's just bunching everything. This is bee balm, so I can attract some bees. We have some cucumber back there, another marigold. This cucumber plant is on its last leg, so I'm probably gonna just dig her up because she's just taking up space, looking so pitiful. Um, this is nasturtium coming up here and some coming up back there so that like i said keep the bugs away we have some peas back here i'm not sure how they're gonna do um because i've dug up three different 
times where they didn't survive back there. So I'm just gonna let this one see how long it will last. But the green beans are coming on up. They're starting to get tall. Look, look at there. Um, my, this here is echinacea. This is echinacea. Got the beets coming up, some colorful beets. And these are, these, this here, oh, look at that. We're gonna get a bud here. This is um, marigold mixture. It has some other seeds in it and it was about um, how to attract butterflies and bees. So we'll see what this brings. Some nasturtium, of course. You'll see that planted throughout. I think this probably is a green bean that I did not drop here. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that <laughs> a squirrel or bird or something you know birds were actually in here too i had to um shoo some birds away so they may have moved some seeds i don't know but look at that something's been getting at the nasturtium look at this look at these ants they got something they like my spinach is doing well spinach is doing really well we got some cilantro down there the microgreens it was probably too hot for the mescaline but I heard that mescaline does well in heat, so I don't know. This corner here, I may end up digging up and um, planting something else there. But the um, this is radishes right here. This is radish. We got radishes down there too. But I'm really excited. Oh, and the little butter crunch. I put some butter crunch back there, and it didn't do well. It died. I've replanted and it's probably because of the heat it was too hot but maybe the green beans will start to shade it i don't know this is all once again an experiment guys so bear with me and if you um don't tell me to dig anything up because that's not happening right now because it's just too much stuff to be trying to dig up all right so we got more carrots down there onions onions are coming up really good look at that that looks like a pea right doesn't that look like a snap pea or something i and this is definitely a snap. Why is a snap pea in here? Y'all, I don't, I don't, and I know for sure because I would have had some type of labels. But anyway, this is just flowers. These are flowers to attract pollinators and butterflies, marigold, some more um, echinacea. This one is really small though compared to the other one. But um, all of my bell peppers, green beans, yeah, another corner that I'm probably going to give some, some attention to as far as planting something else. But look at this. All of these are bell peppers. This this marigold is probably going to... I'm probably going to dig this one up and just keep the seeds from the plant and dry them out so I can use them next year. We got jalapeno. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how pretty. Um, And y'all, listen. This looks like a tomato plant that I know good and well I did not put in here. <laughs> I don't, I'm confused. I'm really confused because I would not have put a tomato in here with all this stuff. Or maybe I had a tomato seed stuck to my hand. Who knows? But either way, it's in here and we're going to see what's going to happen. Um, dill, lots of dill. And it's just spread like wildfire. And I, I planted it in here on purpose because, again, I was trying to plant things that would attract... Um, the annoying things away from all of the fruits and veggies so i'm looking to see if i have any oh i got some buds there i was looking to see if there was anything that was starting to hang yet but no we have bud there we have one there so that's what we have so far for the green peppers this is all green pepper and these are potato sweet potatoes um and i definitely know i'm going to play pull those up but for right now they're right there sunflowers my tall sunflowers are dead because the rabbits ate them so i've moved the baby sunflowers here this is a cute little basil y'all look at that boxwood basil and it smells delicious and it flowers this one doesn't have any oh that was a spider web this one doesn't have any flowers on it yet so i'll show you the one that i have inside the house i actually split it um into two to leave one out here and have one inside all right rosemary lemon balm all the flowers rosemary and that little cup all the way over there on the end that's just peppermint that i um clipped and planted it put it in water so that i could try to um 
get some extra peppermint so that I could root it and then plant it. This here, look at this. Uh, yes, this pot will be redone eventually, probably sooner than later because it's too much stuff in here. I was trying stuff out to see if it would work and clearly it's working. <laughs> so we have cucumber on the outsides, cucumber there, cucumber and squash in the middle. So I'm gonna get trellises for the cucumber and I'm gonna probably very gently dig, and this is only one squash plant. So I'm probably gonna very gently dig the squash plant up. Although I'm kind of scared because I don't want to kill it. But down here with the tomatoes, we have some nasturtium and some basil. Some baby tomato plants are coming up. This one has marigolds in it with it. And I think some nasturtium also, yep, it does. All right, now here comes the exciting part. Look at all the flowers. We have some tomatoes coming in. Got some tomatoes there. We got some babies. Let's see. Oh, we got some over here too. Let's see. Let me put that back where I had it. it smells good. The garlic is doing well. Now let's see here. Let's find some tomatoes on this plant. Oh, look. There's some tomatoes there. We got lots of flowers though. Lots and lots of flowers. Not many tomatoes popping up quite yet, but at least we know. Oh, look, look, look. At least we know they're coming. And this one, Jiminy Cricket. Look at that. We got lots of tomatoes on this one. Yeah so exciting because last year i planted everything too late so the couple tomatoes that i did get they were half bitten and i just ended up just trashing them throwing everything away because it was just ridiculous so the tomatoes are starting to pop up which is excellent and exciting and then chicken wire from my dad he built a gate which is right there but it doesn't quite close all the way so I have it there, but I'm going to eventually use it somehow. We're going to use it um, because my dad spent that time to build it. So we're definitely going to use it. And look, the lemon balm is spreading. And there, the last little bit of the sunflower that's left, I don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah, the last little bit of the sunflower left that the animal didn't eat. Look at that. It, you can see where it ate the leaves off and left a little tree and all this green stuff here. They're flower seeds that I planted. Yep, flower seeds that I planted down there. So my husband was like, I'm digging all that crap up. And I was like, no, 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 no. Some of that is flower. So let's see what's going to flower first. And then we can dig up around it. So that's what we have. I'll take you one last walk around. I know this video is kind of long, but it's been a while since I showed you guys um, what I'm working on here. And inside... As you know, I still have my inside herbs, my rosemary, some basil, mint, sage, oregano, and thyme. And that's how those things are doing. And then I know that I just said that I was going to show you the flowering, the basil that flowers. So I'm going to show you what that looks like really quickly. All right, so here's the basil when it gets flowers on it. Let me turn some light on so you guys can see. I don't know if that even helps, but this is the basil, what it looks like with flowers on it. And it's boxwood. And then I have my basil in the house, my spicy glow basil, some thyme, some um, cardamom. I have two pots of cardamom. And then this one is rosemary thyme. Look at that. That thyme has had it. It's on his last leg. Oregano thyme, rosemary together. And inside plant, mint plant. So that's what everything is. And that's how everything is looking. Oh, and I, th I want to thank my friend Machetta because she told me about banana water. So I've been using, I just have some banana peels in here with the water. And I'm telling you, that stuff works. I plant, poured it on and I watered the stuff. And you could see... The, um, my leaves started to look healthy again. So there you have it, guys. Have a wonderful day.